Welcome and thanks for joining us today on Street Beat. I'm Eddie Connor. The expansiveness of technology is the medium that makes it possible to connect us all. Whether in Detroit, Michigan or Durban, South Africa, ultimately shrinking our world via cell phones, email, the internet, radio, <laughs> and even television. For the Wired World segment today, I'm delighted to have Tim Hayward of Lawrence Tech University as my guest to give us some insight into the world of technology. Tim, welcome to Street Beat. Well, you got it. I'm excited to be here. Wonderful. Now, Tim, what is your uh, educational major as a college student at Lawrence Tech University? Well, I'm a senior at Lawrence Tech, and I have my Bachelor's of Science in Information Technology. I'll be finishing up here. Okay. Give us some insight into your experience with technology. Well, currently I'm working at Real Estate One in their IT department, and my job is I use my knowledge of computers to train the new agents that are coming in. We try, in, in Real Estate One, we try and keep up with the technology, and it's really become a technology-savvy world where people, you know, our customers are searching for homes online, they're not just relying on the agents. So my job is as the new agents come in, I try and teach them how to use emails, how to use their own website, okay. and how to connect to the older people in the world and the young people that are used to using computers to do everything. Most definitely bridging that gap is of necessity. Mm -hmm. And of course we live in a wired world where, where young people are connected via the parameters of social uh, networking sites, uh, video games, and the list goes on. Mm -hmm. What are some engaging uh, gadgets and games that foster uh, educational enrichment mm -hmm. in the lives of young people that you would prescribe? Mm -hmm. Well, talking to young people, so you know, let's talk games. I mean, I'm a gamer. I got a oh, yeah. 360. I have okay. a Wii. My girlfriend's got a PlayStation, so I, mean, okay. I put a lot of hours into them. And gamers, you know, they used to be when you're talking games, you're talking, you know, you're by yourself. You're sitting there, you're playing for hours, and you couldn't save it. So it was only the most dedicated people that would finish a game. Nowadays, you can save, you can... All right, well, let's look at Halo 3, yeah. one of my favorite games. just came oh. out. <laughs> you can play by yourself. You can do a co-op, where you're playing the campaign with someone else. You oh. can do a multiplayer, where you have four people. Or you can go online and do all those things. You can do a co-op with someone. If man, I'm in Michigan, someone's over in Texas. Right. By a friend over in Traverse City. And we can play together. We can talk. We can share the experience. So it's mm. become more of a social thing. Okay. With Bungie, they really push. You can share videos. You can share pictures of things you have done with people. You can get a group together. Exactly. And go can, compete against other groups all across the world. Okay. It doesn't matter if you're in Europe, if right, you're yeah. in you know, Australia, or if you're right next door. Right. So it's really brought the world a little closer mm. together, taught, you know, give people a chance to meet people from other cultures. Exactly. Shrinking our world uh, mm -hmm. and communicatively connected seems to be the, the resounding theme for, for teens today. Mm -hmm. I mean, you look at MySpace, you look at Facebook, uh, you look at YouTube and changing the way in which teenagers uh, communicate and interact with each other. How even is that, those uh, specific three parameters of Facebook, MySpace, mm -hmm. and YouTube changing the way that young people interact? Mm -hmm. Those The social networks is another way that you are able to reach out to anyone across mm -hmm. the world. You, anyone that gets on a computer, they can sign up for Facebook, MySpace, mm -hmm. or any of the other ones, and they can meet and keep in contact with anyone else in the world that has access to those. So you, it's a great way to express yourself. Mm -hmm. And then just having an account, there's not too much value in it unless you make friends. Oh, and yeah. so you make friends with you know everyone you know in the real world, and then you expand. Now my girlfriend uses MySpace. She has a friend over in England. She's never met him, <laughs> but there's that friendship because they talk, they share pictures, they're able to communicate, and you can do that. You know, it doesn't cost anything. Okay. So you can, if you tried long distance calling, you know, yeah, you wouldn't bother with it. But being able to log into your Facebook, send a couple messages, make a couple comments. You can, uh, there's applications you can join, so you can join causes, you can do some fun stuff. That's wonderful, and I really appreciate you being on our program today. If you could just name one gadget for us that we should look forward to in the future. Uh, there's a program you can check out right now, it's in beta. 
If you go to photoshop.com backslash express, it's an online image editing program. So you can upload your pictures from any computer, edit them, there's a couple of basic edits you can do, mm -hmm. and then you can choose, you know, you can put the pictures into albums and choose which ones you want to share with the world. You can also, if you have a Facebook account, a Google Picasso or photo bucket, you can pull the pictures from there, edit them, and put them right back. So Wonderful. it's a great way to deal with all the pictures we got going on. Well, I appreciate it. Tim, thank you for your insight today on Street Beat, and all the best to you on your educational endeavors. And now, back to you, Tim.